It's Real Tomorrow Cars Cribs, and I'm back with another one. Huge shout out to everybody watching the video. And if you aren't subscribed, make sure you stop the video right now, press pause, and smash that subscribe button. Today we're in Zion, Illinois. We have this beautiful first series model, four bedroom, two bathroom for $240,000. Before we go inside, you guys want to make sure you do the steps. Step number one, you can check the perimeters and check the foundation outside of the home to make sure there's no big cracks. Step number two, you're going to go in the basement, you're going to do, do your smell test, and you're going to check the perimeters inside of the home to make sure there's no big cracks. Step number three, check the mechanics. Let's take a look at your beautiful neighborhood. You see what's going on with the code of sac baby? There's only like eight houses back here. Maybe more like, maybe more like 10. I'm gonna go with 11. Don't forget, make sure you smash that subscribe button. I'll see you guys when we get inside. Who is it? It's Real Tomorrow and Double R Family. What's going on? Welcome to our new home, Double R Family. Let's start off, we're gonna start off with the garage. As you come in the house, right to your right hand side, you're gonna run into the garage. Two and a half cars, you guys can see. Very nice space, put the vet, put the Buick right here. Very nice setup. You got a long driveway so you can put plenty of cars. Let's step into the basement. Brand new carpet, brand new paint. As you guys can see, let's go family room first. Brand new carpet, brand new paint, very nice touches. This is what I'm doing right here. Boom, right here. L couch, table, 90 inch TV, wham. And you put the end tables right there so it can have a nice little font sway. Over here, you could put a pool table right here. You have plenty of room to do that. You can make this like a gaming area. You can put some desk over here. I mean, there's so much room you have in here. So many things you can do foosball with the pool tables. It's really all about preference and what you want to do. This could be the kids playing here. You can like block this off and make the kids play over here while you over there doing what you do. But very nice space. Then right here on your left hand side, you have the laundry room, brand new floor. Look at the floor. Yeah, we did that. You see it, brand new paint. Don't forget, tell me step number three. I ain't keep on, let's just tell me step number three. Also have, comes with very nice washer and very nice dryer. This house also has a radon system in here it's just to make sure there's no radon in the house. So that's an extra plus, just so you know. Boom, room number one, brand new carpet, brand new paint. As you guys, that, that carpet feels so good, I can just slide on that joint. In here, I will go with, uh, honestly, you can go either way. You can hit it, boom, right here. And right here, you can go queen size bed, multi TV right there, that's what I'm doing. Queen size bed right there, multi TV right there, put the two end, end tables, bam. Put the dresser right here, whoop. And closet space, just about average. Me, I'm getting the kit from Ace Hardware Home Depot. Set the kit up. It's gonna have way more space. You're gonna be able to separate everything, put the shirts and shorts and all that stuff, bam, bam. Or you can even just this, let me show you this. Something very simple. You can go to Ace Hardware Home Depot, get a little block of wood, put it right here. Put another one right here. Get you a little pole and get one of these things. These things cost about $10. Put it right there, you can put the shorts, the jeans down there and the shirts up top. Just a little, you know, just a little something, something. Bathroom number one. Beautiful floor. Look at the vanity. Let me show you the shower so you can see. Let me show you the shower. Look at that. It's autumn. It's almost autumn, so. Wham wham. Very nice tub. Very nice toilet. Vanity. The whole nine. Room number two. Brand new carpet. Brand new paint. Room number two. It's. It may be a little bit bigger than room number one, but I'm not really sure. They're probably around the same size. It's just laid out differently. Yeah, same setup. I'm going with queen size bed here. Womb. Tape, I mean, uh, TV right here. Wham. And then, boom. 
dresser right there. Closet, no, like closet space now. Closet space galore in here. Way bigger than, it's like two of room number one. So you got the whole setup. You can put the shoes down here, jeans right here, shirts right here, coats in the middle. I mean, however you want to break it up. Now, I see you guys when we go upstairs. Three. Let's step into your living room, dining room, kitchen combo. This is what I'm doing. I'm not even putting the L couch, I'm putting the U couch. So it's gonna, it's gonna be big, it's gonna sit up like right here though. But it's gonna be straight right here, then a line right here, and a line right there. Boom, plenty of space, you put all the family right there. Put the TV right here, wham. End table right there, whoop. End table right there, wham. And maybe put a little table, no, nah, don't put the little table. Maybe put a little table, maybe not. It depends on, it's all about preference. It's all about what you want to do. Dining room. Six person table, but we have four bedrooms and maybe some kids too. So, big table right here, four chairs on this side, one chair right here, one chair right there. Let's step into the kitchen with the granite countertop, brand new cabinets, brand new stove, brand new flooring, brand new paint, brand new backsplash, brand new shelves. I mean, what ain't brand new in here? Everything, everything, doing it. We did it all, but very nice. Make sure that water pressure is right. Very nice setup. We also have stainless steel appliances. Stainless steel dishwasher there. Stainless steel stove, brand new. Stainless steel microwave. Stainless steel double double refrigerator. Oh, we got some water in there just in case you were a little thirsty or something. You know. But let's go ahead and step into Room number three. Oh, a nice little touch. Pantry off to the side. Put all ketchup, mustard, and all that stuff right in there. Room number three. Brand new carpet, brand new paint. It is so beautiful. It's just something about this white paint, man. It's just so bright and it's so beautiful. It just feels very relaxing. You can fit, hmm. you can fit a queen size bed in here. Queen size bed here. TV right there, put your dresser right here with the mirror, so you have the whole setup right there. Closet space. Closet space is bigger than room number one, but smaller than room number two. So if you don't know what I'm saying, go back and watch the video and watch it again. But very nice closet space. You can add the little thing like I was just saying downstairs, or you can get the, the kit from Home Depot, Ace Hardware, Lowe's, Menards, wherever you like to go. Bathroom number two, what it do? Brand new flooring. Very, very nice vanity. We did an excellent job with that painted, got it all together. Nice toilet. Very nice tub. And that is also connected to the master suite. Brand new flooring, brand new paint. Bedroom number two has the same amount of closet space as the master suite, so that's very, very nice. You could fit, mm -hmm. I'm going this way. I'm going king size bed. Which way? Which way should I go? Mm. Mm. Yeah, king size bed here. Mm. I'm gonna block the window. I'm kind of confused, I'm, I'm kind of confused on King size bed here, end tables here. We're gonna put a dresser right here. We're gonna put the TV over on, on top of that. And it's gonna have a swivel, so it's gonna swivel this way. So you're gonna blend the bed to them right here. Bam, you see the TV right there. That's, that's what I'm going. I'm going with that one. That's a good, good setup. Again, it's a beautiful rest remodel, four bedroom, two bathroom for 240,000 in the best neighborhood in Zion. If you're looking to buy this home or any other home, you can always email me at romeshousereviews at gmail.com. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'll see you guys on the next one. It's real to Rome, and I'm gone.